Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a new React application. We will also install the UI library and React Router DOM. So let's get started. So let me open here the CMD. And here I'm going to write the command to create the new React application. So the command is npx space create hyphen react hyphen app space and name of the app that is a jwt hyphen react let's hit enter and you can see react application created successfully let me close this let's open this application in vs code let me open here the terminal and here i'm going to write the command to run the react application now the command is npm space start let's hit enter and you can see the react application is locally running on this link so let me copy this and paste here and you can see here the ui of our newly created react application so let's go to src package and uh, let me open here the app.js file and here i'm going to remove this code let me add here the h1 tag and the caption over here that is a react application let's go to ui and you can see let's install the ui library that we will use in this application let me open here the new tab and here i'm going to search react bootstrap and you can see here the official website of react bootstrap ui library let me click on this get started button and here i'm going to copy this command to install the react bootstrap so let me open here the new terminal And you can see Red Bootstrap installed successfully. Let me open here the package.json file. And you can see here the version of the React Bootstrap that is a 2.10.6. Let me close this. Let's go to app.js and let me remove this import of app.css. After installing the React Bootstrap, let me scroll down and i'm going to copy this import let's go to react project let me open here the index.js file and we need to paste here the import let's go to app.js and here i'm going to use the react bootstrap class that is a text center let's go to ui and you can see the class applied to h1 tag that i'm going to install react router dom in our react application that will use to navigate between the components so let me open here the new tab and here i'm going to search react router dom so let me copy this command let me open here the new powershell so you can see here the command that is a npm install React router DOM. Let's hit enter. And you can see React router DOM installed successfully. Let me open it the package.json. And you can see here the version of the React router DOM that is a 6.1.3. So that's all for now from my side. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do comment i will attach the playlist link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye